everybody, Sean Tubbs here. Thanks for tuning in. Today I want to talk about the Tone King Iron Man 2 Mini Precision Reactive Power Attenuator. It's a really great sounding uh, power attenuator for people that, uh, like myself uh, and, and others, who just love the sound of their cranked amplifier but need to have it turned down. And especially people that live in apartments or condos with attached walls. Even with a lower wattage amp, sometimes it can still be an issue once you get that amp cooking uh, at the volume you like to get the tone you love. It can be a little bit too loud sometimes, and that's where these really amazing uh, attenuation devices come in uh, rather handy. So I'm using uh, a Morgan uh, JS12. Now this is a 12 watt amplifier, but really it's pretty efficient. It's more along the lines of a, a 20 watt amplifier. And uh, it's, it's pretty cooking loud right now. So that's where the Iron Man 2 uh, Mini comes into play. Um, the way it was designed, or really the way all power attenuators are designed now, is they're designed to go between uh, your amplifier and your speaker, whether it be a combo amp or uh, a head and a cabinet situation. Now the the thing that you that that's important about uh, these uh, power attenuators is the the actual load that they place on the amp now back in the day if you needed to put a load on your amplifier or put something between the speaker or, or even have no speaker at all um, you could use what was called a load resistor and those were fine but they were basically a static uh, resistance so uh, you know when you used them on your amp you could effectively put a load on the amp so you don't damage your output transformer but they sounded pretty flat pretty kind of stale and in some cases they actually made the amp sound a little bit dark so that was back in the day flash forward to now you have uh, way better uh, reactive loads and i don't know what all the magic is that that goes into making them more reactive but uh, in a nutshell, it's, it's a load resistor that's going to react more like the actual speaker uh, would react because speakers don't react in a static way to input. It's going to be much more uh, expressive than that and, and there's going to be ebbs and flows in the uh, resistance and that's what allows the amp to breathe and feel uh, like it, it should. So it's really important to have a, a reactive load on the amplifier, and of course the Tone King has that. Now this is designed for 30 watt amplifiers and, and down. So we're fine here, you know, Vox AC30 amps like that, uh, you can certainly use this guy. Now what makes this one uh, unique is, as I mentioned, uh, you have different degrees of attenuation that you can uh, apply, but you can... Uh, do that via foot switch which is really cool so you can have this thing on the floor get your volume where you want it for kind of your rhythm sound and then for your solo voicing you can hit the switch and bump it up either 3 dB hotter or 6 dB hotter depending on how you have it set and uh, with that in mind uh, that uh, is done by uh, using the, the range switch so you have a low range and a high range and depending on where you have that that's going to give you either 3 dB of boost uh, or uh, 6 dB of boost from the attenuation point that you have set. And uh, it also has a presence control that is subtle, but it's very useful. It's kind of designed to, to slightly compress uh, top end as, as the amp is attenuated, but it's, it's not so much to compensate for what this is doing as much as it's uh, to compensate for what's happening in, in the room you're in. So if you've got a room that's really dark, probably leave it alone, but if you're in another room that maybe has some tile or a lot of wood flooring, um, that's where that can come in handy to kind of tame a little bit of that top end uh, that you might be dealing with. So uh, yeah, let's, let's dig right into it. I'm gonna leave it in uh, the high range right now, which is going to be the most amount of dB cut. So if you look at these rings, you've got the solo ring, which is going to give you basically from zero all the way to uh, minus 32 dB in attenuation. If you look at the next ring, the high ring, that's going to give you anywhere from 3 dB cut all the way down to 35 dB cut. And then if you look at the low ring, that's going to give you 6 dB cut all the way to 38 dB cut. And then you can choose between essentially the low ring and your solo ring, 
or the high ring in your solo ring. So basically you can have, as I mentioned, either 3 dB cut or 6 dB cut between your solo ring and uh, your higher low uh, uh, rings. So right now, because the solo uh, switch is on, you can see here we're not uh, uh, attenuating the amp at all. Now if you look at where we have the switch set, in the high setting, it's going to cut that 6 dB. So if, if you, or, or I'm sorry, it's going to cut it 3 dB. So in the high setting alone, let's just listen to what's going to happen when I shut the solo switch off. So that's 3 dB cut. Now, just to, uh, to go uh, a little bit further, I'm going to go ahead and turn on a boost switch and really get this amp cooking. So we're not attenuating at all right now. I'm going to turn on just a simple uh, boost box. So now we're really cooking. So I'm just going to start attenuating from there. So that's 6 dB less. Here's uh, 10 dB less. 14 dB less. 18 dB less. And at 28 dB of cut, you can almost hear more of the guitar just acoustically than you can the amp. So here's wide open. Still feels great, still sounds great. So let's say, let's go to 10 dB cut. And you want to jump uh, to a solo voice or a solo volume, you can just hit the solo switch now. And if that's too much jump, then you can just change the amount of range. So now that was just 3 dB as opposed to a 6 dB jump in volume. So it just, it feels really cool, sounds great, and all the way down to just whisper volume levels. There's a presence cut, that's 6 dB. 3 dB. And then wide open. So it's a really useful box. It's great that you can have it out on the floor in front of you. It's compact. The foot switch is killer. Now, uh, one thing I need to mention in closing is if you're using this with a combo amp like I am in this situation, you're going to need to buy a speaker coupler a sp or a cable coupler. And that's going to allow you to run uh, from the uh, cable, which obviously in your uh, combo amp to your speaker is going to be really short. So you can put that coupler on there and then plug your longer speaker cable to the uh, attenuator into the other side of that and you'll be able to reach. Now obviously if you have a head, you're not going to need that. You'll just use two speaker cables. For further information, uh, go to the Tone King uh, website. And as always, I really appreciate you guys tuning in and I'll have another uh, demo video for you soon. Thanks.